Okay, so in business, for me, in business, one of the things that happens a lot in business, they focus a lot on what we call external attribution. Okay, they focus on external attribution. Uh, they, they give you what they call KPIs. Okay, anyone heard of KPI, key performance indicators? Okay, they focus a lot on them. I didn't know what they were years ago before I, I, I started working in business. I'll be truth be told, many, many years ago. Since then, I've done a lot of work in business, and written books on business too. Um, but for me, when I first came across them, I thought they're very external attribution. They're useful, a bit like in football, you've got a league table in golf, you've got a table to know where you're up to. The only issue is to motivate someone using that can be a challenge, because can you control the external factor? You're very limited. You can't control the weather, you can't control the referee, you can't control the product line, there are a lot of things you can't control. So having a manager um, on your back all the time, you're not meeting the KPI, what do you think it's going to cause someone? More, more stress. Stress the brain doesn't work really well. The brain then, when the brain's under a lot of stress, the part of the brain, uh, the neocortex, becomes emotionally hijacked under high levels of fear and stress. So you've got these people saying, you know what, um, do better, do better, but then the problem is, is that you have a limbic response. It's like, okay, if I don't get these targets, I'll lose my job. If I lose my job, I'll end up on the street. If I end up on the street, I'll end up. So your brain kind of uh, starts to distort uh, our beliefs. And for me, I'm not saying provide an environment that's like airy fair and wishy washy, but what's really important to work on internal attribution what you can control. So, what I can control when I go to work is my application, my effort. And that's the baseline. It's the same energy something good to something not so good. So, I give 100%, but also to do well. What makes a good member of staff, do you think? Someone's confident, motivation, enthusiastic, gratitude, all these things. If you're on a scale of 10 with 10 being higher at 9, you're grateful. Imagine you go to work, you're grateful, enthusiastic, you're confident. If you've got the product, the KPI will look after itself. So put that away for a moment, the KPI, and focus on internal attribution, things you can control. And if you can focus on those and give people like exercise and, and, and stuff to do, they're going to do really well. And that was my, my big thing in business when I sort of reinvented the wheel. I said, put that to one side and let's focus on getting confident staff, motivated staff, people who are enthusiastic and want to be there, who are grateful to be in the position they're in. It might not be the position they want to be in forever, but they're in it now. And someone would give anything to have you, what you have, all of us, there's someone somewhere in the world who can give anything what you've got. Be it your senses, be it your wealth, be it a lot of things we have, many people don't have. So the point being is that by focusing on internal attribution, uh, it made a massive difference. And that was how I sort of made my name in the business world because we would go on to do really, really well. And I would say, what did you do different? It was no mystery. It was nothing out of the ordinary. It was doing what I did in sport for many years to win things in sport do what I do with people in general, to help them present, to help them do stuff in general, like um, exam, uh, even, even to, to feel better about themselves. Work internally, okay? The targets will leave them there to look after themselves. So I'm gonna get experiential now, and, and I'll do a process with you, and I'm gonna do a number of processes with you uh, throughout this part of the seminar. So perhaps if you're comfortable enough to do so, um, you can close your eyes. And, as you close your eyes, if you come to look to close your eye, uh, just breathe naturally and normally. And as you breathe naturally and normally, perhaps you notice your heart beating. As you notice your heart breathe, uh, beating, you begin to become more aware of your breathing. And as you notice your breathing, perhaps you notice your back on the chair, your feet on the floor, one hand might feel warm than the other. And now you begin to focus on a time where you felt peaceful, calm, confident, anything that you want to feel. Think of a time you felt in a way that you'd like to feel. That could be confidence, motivation, peaceful, calm. If you can't think of a time, it's okay. Think of someone you know and what we'd like to feel that way. And as you do that, 
fully associated to those feelings. That's what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. And imagine watching yourself on a screen, being calm, confident, peaceful. And as you do that, notice how you would stand, how you would walk, how you would sit, any colours, any sounds, any feeling, what's being said. And imagine just perfecting the screen as you would like it. And as you perfect the screen exactly how you would like it, you become aware of your breathing slowing down. And as you become aware of your breathing slowing down, you feel more and more at peace. And as you feel more and more at peace, just like a blank canvas, you create your own reality, you're a master of your own destiny. Every thousand mile journey starts the first step and you're an artist creating your own canvas. You can wipe anything else off the canvas that doesn't work for you and just create your own. And like having a control on your hand, remote control. And if you don't like one program, you can change to another one and another one until you find a program you like to watch. And if you don't like a song on the radio, you change it and keep changing it until you find the one you want to listen to. And when you hear the song you listen to, put it louder. When you see the image you want to see, you make it brighter and bigger and stronger. And when you've got what you want, in the way you want it, imagine stepping into the screen and fully engaging in those feelings of the here and now. Becoming the person you want to be. Or becoming the person you once were. Or becoming more the person you want to be more of. And you, you focus on being the person you want to be more of, perhaps as a role model. Perhaps as a time in your life where you felt that way. Perhaps as a new way. So you make the old model obsolete and you create a new model. I mean, why bother trying to re-resurrect the old model? You go to a new model, just like a car, a microwave, a phone, you have a new model. Once you have a new mobile phone, the contract, you let go of the other one, you start using the new one. And now, create your new model and fully engage in it and step into it and really feel it. And I'm going to give you a moment now to pause and just adjust and fine tune new things. So I'll give you uh, a moment to pause and really engage and feel it and make the intensity higher on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being high. When you get to 9, you can anchor it with a colour. Perhaps the colour's blue, perhaps the colour's green. We can anchor it with a gesture, a physical action. So every time you do that, you can reconnect to those feelings and bring them back any time you wish.